Okay, I'm working with a Pyroman 5. I have done the build on it. And inside of here, we've got the hat board is seated. All of the pins are properly seated in there. There's not any issues on that. The All of the connections are made. There's really, this thing's pretty simple. Um, just for reference, that's a hundred Raspberry Pis right there. So like, I know a little bit about these things. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get some power on this guy. Okay, I gotta get the power cord. All right, I've got the power cord and this is going to a, actually it's going to a uh, Raspberry Pi 5, 45 watt. So this is like the standard type of, you know, connector that you would expect to get for the Pi 5. And I'm gonna go ahead and just Plug this guy in here, just to get that power lined up, plugged up. Okay, so now we have a light on, obviously, the M2 board. We have a, we don't have a spin on the fan. We have a, we have the, the board booting up. So, I mean, that's good there. Actually, okay, this fan started spinning. So the, the CPU fan is spinning, but the other fans are not. The only things that aren't working are the things connected to the hat board, it appears, because there's no lights on that. Um, but the Pi has power. The fan to the Pi has power. The M2 board has power. The hat board is just DOA. So we can see here the uh, thing is essentially, you know, trying to boot up. So if this thing, you know, I could probably use it as is without that uh, extra, you know, GPIO expansion board there, but, you know, I want this thing to work properly and I'm hoping I can get this uh, resolved with the uh, SunFounder uh, people. So anyway, that's the video demonstration for the tech support for SunFounder and I uh, hope that that is helpful.